Hey everybody, welcome back. It's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. I hope you're having a better day than I am because I wrecked my drone. Wrecked her good too. Bounced her off the concrete. And if you're finding this video because the same exact thing has happened to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can deal with this together because misery loves company. So you wrecked your drone. It's gonna happen and more than likely it's gonna happen again. This certainly is not the first time that I've crashed this drone, but it was one of the worst crashes. Concrete is just one of the most unforgiving surfaces and I'm so fortunate that this thing did not break into a thousand pieces. In my last video, I did a full review on the DJI Mavic 3 Classic and durability was one of my top strengths for this drone. I'll put a link down in the description to that video, but let's break down exactly what happened to me so it doesn't happen to you. It was a beautiful night like any other. My brother and I were on our way home from an awesome dinner. As we're heading back to my house, we come upon a scene of an accident where it looks like a Ford Transit has just completely tipped over. And me being me, I always try to get some type of footage of any accident like that so I can send it into the news. The decision is made just to run home, grab the drone, and then fly it over to the accident. Now right off the bat, I knew I was going to have a little bit of trouble because off to the left there is obviously a storm blowing in, but the accident is only two blocks away to the right. And I thought for sure I'm just going to zip over there, get the footage, and run right back. And for the most part, I was able to do that, but the entire time that I'm flying the drone to the accident, I'm getting nothing but high wind warnings and that makes my palms start to sweat it makes my heart start to race and it just adds to the entire stress of the situation but i get on location take a little bit of footage and then after my third high wind warning i decided to just fly right on home and everything went completely fine till the landing as i'm bringing it down the wind really starts to gust and i am struggling to keep the drone from straying all over the place i really thought that i had it but as i'm bringing it down i nick the light pole in my front yard and it throws it right into my driveway and that was probably the worst part was seeing it hit the light pole in the yard, skip the yard, and go straight from the concrete driveway. Momentum is a hell of a drug. And now before you assume that the DJI Mavic 3 Classic does not handle wind very well, I do take personal responsibility in the fact that I was not paying attention to the age of my blades and how they had warped over time. And one thing that you can absolutely count on when piloting a drone is that if you fly with damaged propellers, you are about to have a damaged drone. So that's what happened. I wrecked my drone. Now what do I do? First and foremost, accept that it happened. And then accept that it's going to happen again. And don't don't beat yourself up about it. I lost sleep when I wrecked my drone. Don't do that to yourself. It is all a part of the experience of flying a drone and until they invent a drone that defies gravity, it's going to continue to happen. Take a deep breath and then move on to damage control. All right, so let's take a deep dive into my damage control here. Each one of these propellers is, they're ruined. So anytime you see any type of problem with that orange rubber on the end of it, get rid of them, throw them out, get new ones. Other propellers, not a whole lot of damage going on here, but they're very warped. And I'm sure you can even see that in the camera, especially with that light. And then these right here, looks like we, we got scraped up pretty good on the end right there. Missing a chunk out of that end. And this propeller right here, completely ruined. Orange piece is completely gone. On, scuffed up around the edge right there and then this there's a big damage right here I don't even know what to call that a few bumps and bruises along the drone so nothing too terrible we do have to replace all the propellers which I'll show you how to do that it takes about five minutes easy peasy let's knock that out real quick and now before we go replacing anything it does need to be said that there are specific propellers for specific arms as you can see some propellers have a gray circle right there some propellers do not have a gray circle so let's take a look at the propellers that do have a gray circle. We're gonna push down, turn counterclockwise to unlock. You'll see the gray circle underneath there. Push down, turn clockwise to lock for the gray circles. The propellers that don't have a gray circle on them, push down, turn clockwise to unlock. No gray circle. Push down, turn counterclockwise to lock. I had my drone for almost two months before I even figured that out. Like, why can't I get some of these propellers to go on? What the crud? And now that you are smarter than I am, let's take a closer look at how we're gonna get these propellers off and put the new propellers on. Replacing the propellers are actually very, very easy. We'll get down here. I'm going to call this little part right here the bridge with the three little metal bolts. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that bridge, push down on it, twist it clockwise, pull up on it. That's how it comes off. We're going to take our other propeller, which you can see that it has little legs right there. And those little legs go into those little slots. And we're just going to push it down in here into our little slots and turn it counterclockwise. And then it's good to go. All right, that's one set down. Let's go ahead and knock out the other sets and get that taken care of. So I've got all my old propellers here. I'll just throw them back in the box and those will be going in the trash. We don't need those anymore. But of course the question, well, what if I have a little bit bigger of a problem than propellers, John? Do not stress. We actually have a few options to choose from. Our first option is filing a warranty claim with DJI itself. This is a lot easier when you're in the 14 day warranty window from DJI. If you are outside of that warranty window, it makes it a little bit more difficult. There are not many stories out there of DJI helping customers that are outside of that 14 day warranty window. And it does 
doesn't matter if one of these arms fall off mid-flight. If it happens on the 15th day, DJI is going to give you the middle finger and tell you to schedule an appointment with their service department. The positive to that is that the DJI Service Inquiry Program is a reputable program and they do good work. The negatives of that program though are the time that it takes to get your drone fixed and back to you. There is no public drop-off. It is all shipping only. So you have to make an inquiry, ship it to them, let them fix it and have them ship it back to you. So lead time going with DJI Repair is going to be at least a week. Now if that time frame doesn't work for you, you do have another option. There are certified DJI repair shops all around the world. You just have to find one and hope that it's close to you. The closest certified DJI repair shop to my location is three hours away, but I can go physically drop the drone off. I don't have to ship it to them. A lot of them offer same day repair, which would be crazy if you're in a time crunch and you need your drone right now. Your last option would be to self repair. And there's a lot of angles we got to look at with that option. The glass half full angle. I don't think that these DJI drones are that difficult to work on. They're just small screws. I would take videos and pictures of your entire process, but I don't think it's that hard to dismantle these things and then put them back together. And having that knowledge about how these drones are put together and how exactly they work will come in handy. You can even build your own business off of repairing drones. But glass half empty angle, if you were to repair this on your own and you did something that was not right and this drone happens to fall out of the sky and destroys itself due to something that you did, you just lost one of the most expensive pieces of equipment you ever had and it's your fault. So please do yourself a favor and be honest with yourself. Is this something you should be tackling? Is this up your alley? If it's not, leave it to someone that does know what they're doing and just enjoy the hobby. And the last scenario we need to discuss is FUBAR. Fudged up beyond repair. And if you're finding yourself in the FUBAR category, I seriously am sorry. You're kind of part of the majority now. About 60% of new drone owners destroy their drone in the first day. So you've destroyed a drone. You're in there, baby. But now what's the best course of action to getting a new drone? I might catch a little flack for this, but I don't mind buying drones secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. The majority of people that buy drones fly them a couple times and never do anything with them and then they just sit. So you have a very, very good chance of the drone never really even being used and you can tell pretty easily if a drone has been down, been damaged. So that would be my general thoughts on Facebook Marketplace. You do have the option to get a refurbished drone straight from the DJI website. They claim it's about a 20% discount compared to a new drone. So it's at least worth looking into to see what exactly they have to offer and see if there's something there for you. And if secondhand electronics aren't your thing and you definitely want to go brand new, I understand. But it's at least worth looking into to not just go out and buy the exact drone that you have. Do some research to see if they're going to come out with a new model anytime soon. The drone technology that we have is rapidly changing and they're coming out with new drones and new technology all the time. So just make sure you get the one that you want. And as far as steps to take after you wreck your drone, that's pretty much it. Making peace with the fact that it happened and it will probably happen again. Doing some damage control, fixing the damage, and if we can't fix the damage, replacing the drone the right way. I seriously hope this video helped anybody with a recent drone crash. If you did find it helpful, please hit that like button. I would so greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe because I have a ton more drone content coming out. I cannot thank you guys enough for watching all my videos, commenting. Seriously, the support has been awesome. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. I'll see you next time.